Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we're going to cover another topic in Salesforce, which is related to Salesforce record type. Here is the agenda for today's session. We're going to understand what is a record type, how can you create a record type in Salesforce. Then we will understand um, this record type with a business use case. So let us understand what is a record type in Salesforce. Record type allows you to associate different business processes, subset of pick list values to different users based upon their profile. So basically our system admins can configure different record types as per our business need. And then we can associate different page layouts based upon the uh, profile. So let us understand the uh, record types by taking a business use case. In your Salesforce org, Consider that users should be able to create various accounts. There could be different accounts like customer accounts or the partner accounts. So now when our users try to create these accounts, could be a customer account, they should be able to see different subset of list of values for the industry field. And when they want to create a partner account, they should be able to select different set of values for the industry field. So this business scenario or business use case is something which can be achieved by creating different record types in Salesforce. So let us see how can you create a record type in our Salesforce DevOps. So record types can be created for the custom objects as well as the standard objects. So you can navigate to any of from you can navigate to the object manager and select the object that you would like to create the record types for. And from there on, you can select the record types and click on new to create the record types as per your business requirement. So now let us log in into our Salesforce DevOps and see how can we create the record types in our Salesforce. So here I have uh, logged in into our Salesforce DevOps already. So this is my Salesforce DevOps. So from the setup, from navigate to the object manager. So our business use cases for the account, let us create two different um, accounts, two different record types. One is a customer account and the second one is a partner account. So we'll see how can you create those two different record types for the account object. Navigate to the account. Here you can see we have different uh, um, you have uh, fields and relationships, you have page layout, you have compact layout. Likewise, you have the record type. Navigate to the record types and from here, click on new. So let us create a new record type and give the name as record type label as customer account. Record type name used to create customer accounts. It is always the best practice to give the description to the record types that you're creating. So here it says as a step one, enter the details. You're entering the name and the description of the new record type. The new record type will include the pick list values from the existing record type selected below. After saving the new record type, you will be able to customize those pick list values. So here, you want to make this record types available to all the profiles or you want to make it available for certain set of profiles. So here, let's not make this available for every profile. For now, I just want this record type to be visible for our system admin. And um, let's also try to make this available for the sales rep. Click on next. So you, are, you have associated the record types to the um, profiles. So here it is asking me, select the page layout that users with this profile see for the records with the record type. So you have to look out which page layout they should be able to see these record types. So here I'm making the changes only to the account layout and click on save. So we have created a record type called as a customer account record type. So the next action item is let us try to create another record type called as a partner. So click on new. Here give the name as partner 
account auto populated used to create partner accounts and make it active okay then let us make this available to system admin and sales rep and select the page layout i'm selecting your account save so we have created two business uh, two different record types for the account object when we navigate to the record types here you can see that it is you, you have customer account then you have the partner account now let us go to the customer account and navigate to the industry field so here you have this industry fields right so these are all the pick lists that are available for the editing so click on this industry pick list value here all these are the values which are already selected so what all different uh, fields that you want you can keep this in the selected value and rest all you can move to the rest so i do not want not for profit and all of these in the customer account only i need these values in the for the customer account so click on save so if you want to make anything default you can make this anything default let us make the same change for the partner account navigate to the industry field and accept all these still here i just need these list of values for the partner okay so you have created two different record types and then you have updated the list of values that is pick list for the industry field so customer account will have certain list of values and partner account record types will have certain list of values now we can associate the page layout how can you do that let's go to the page layout assignments here you can see that customer and the partner are associated with the same page layout so i want to take a very simple scenario that is why i did not associate it with the different page layouts so as per your business need you can associate the record types to different uh, you can associate page layouts to the different record types but in our case i just use the account uh, layout okay so now let us try to verify whether the users that is system admin and the sales rep are able to see two different record types and they are able to see different set of values for the industry field so that is what is our business use case is right so we will see whether we have achieved the business use case or not so now let us go to any of the application here let's go to the service application we just have to create an account right so let me try to navigate to the account tab and click on new account so remember i logged in as a system admin and have given access to the system admin to create two different record types so when i try to log in as a system admin and click on new and try to create a new account i should be able to see two different record types but here by default it is taking the partner account so let us try to make the changes to the page layout sorry the changes to the profiles first let us see what is happening in the record type page page layout assignments partner account okay now let us go back here go to the profiles navigate to the system admin profile admin profile go to the record type section and look out for the account search for the record types so here you see by default is partner 
So click on edit. Associate this customer also to partner account for the profile. Save. So now when the say system admin tries to create any of the profile, any of the account, he or she should be able to see two different uh, record types. And from the two different record types, you can choose which particular account that you would like to create. When you click on new, now you can see, right? So that was the issue. And that issue, how did we fix? We went to the profile. We navigated to the system admin profile. From there, you navigated to the record type section and ensure that the record type uh, has for the account has customer and the partner selected. Earlier it was by default to the partner. So that is how we fix the issue. So here, if you want to select the customer, you can select customer account, you can create the customer accounts. And if you want to create the partner accounts, you can select the partner account. So now let us try to create a partner account and verify whether the field industry has only those set of list of values that we have defined in the record type. Click on next. Let's navigate to industry here. You see only those list of values are showing on in the industry field. The other values for the industry are not being displayed here. That is something which you will be able to see it in the customer account when you create a customer account. So now let us go back and click on customer. Let us see what all different fields we values we have for the industry. You see here agriculture apparel, but you will not be able to see uh, something which is after N, right? M, till only till M uh, letters um, uh, we have chosen, but after that we have updated those list of values are being shown up in the partner record type. So that's how you can differentiate between um, uh, you can create different record types and then you can associate uh, page layouts. If you want to associate different page layouts, you can very well associate the different page layouts based upon the profile. So the main advantages of using the record types is it makes the process simpler and it allows you to differentiate or it allows you to configure different um, uh, business processes, assign different um, pick list uh, values, uh, based upon the uh, profiles. So that is a major advantage of using the record time. So this is what we have for today's session. I hope uh, you were able to understand uh, the basic uh, of what is a record time. If you are finding our videos uh, informative, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you all for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.